guys, so it is actually Wednesday. <laughs> like, it is actually Wednesday, July 24th. So it's been a few days. Um, <laughs> so let's just recap a little bit about what happened. So I'm not too sure when's the last time I touched base with you guys, but um, pre-judging went fantastic. Um, to be honest, throughout pre-judging, I had no idea where I was on stage. Like, I only realized, my hair is so crazy. I only realized if I had people on either side of me or not. That was it. Like, that's all I paid. I didn't know where I was, like, how many people were on my left, how many were on my right, if I was in the center, what. I had no idea. I was just having a blast out there, just doing what I was supposed to do, listening for the calls, um, and then just trying to flex as hard as possible. <laughs> like, Pretty much. So, did, um, did pretty well, as you saw. Pretty well. Like, did pretty well. <laughs> so, um, I did get um, second place in novice. I got second place in 35 plus, which for me, like, uh, that was, that was a rough one. They worked us on that. Like 35 plus was like, that was a grind. And I loved every second of it. It was, I think that really made me understand posing conditioning and what posing conditioning, conditioning really meant because we got worked on that one. Um, especially in that back pose. So um, yeah, second and 35 plus, and then, um, I won my open class, open class E. So, so exciting, so exciting. What that means is that I am now nationally qualified so I can go compete at a national show for my pro card. So one step closer to getting my pro card. So freaking excited. Um, which it was so funny because I was so like in the moment and just so like, proud of the package that we brought. So proud of my performance on stage. So proud of just everything put into this show. Um, even proud of how I handled post show. Like, like let's hit on that real quick. Post show. Um, right after the show, it was a little late, but we, um, got into, I believe it was called Mia's Italian Kitchen, something along those lines, an Italian restaurant. I really, really wanted pizza, so that was probably going to be, like, kind of the, at that time, it was, like, high-quality pizza, and we had, Tony and I had seen this um, on TikTok. So we really want to try it out. Went, tried it out. Fantastic. However, the pizza itself was like, I don't think I have anything around me for its actual size. It was probably like half of a regular sheet of paper. Like it wasn't very big, like a little bit bigger than my hand. It wasn't very big at all. And it was cut into like Four. Like if you drew an X, it was like four pe four triangle pieces. Um, but which was at first disappointing when I first saw it, but when I actually ate it, it was it was perfect. It was the, the perfect amount. I wasn't overstuffed. I wasn't um, like still hungry. I was just I was feeling good. Um, we also had um, Tony and I shared. A little bit of a pasta dish that we had seen on TikTok that we really want to try. So I had a couple bites of that. Um, and then they had this like cheesy bread. Um, had a few bites of that, right? Um, so that was that was fantastic. Um, and then um, let me see from there. Um, Tony, my mom, um, and Sabian came back home. My friends also. Uh, we parted ways. My best friend and I stayed together, went back to the hotel, and I had 
purchased two cookies at this cookie vendor that was at the show. Baked by Bex. Baked by Bex. Like Rebecca, but Bex cookies. So, um, those were pretty good size. So, I had purchased two. Um, and I ate half of each. So, I guess one whole cookie that night. Um, and then we... Um, and then that's it. I called it a day. And I had like a handful of peanut M&Ms. You know, one of those little like snack packs that you get from like, for like Halloween. Yeah. So that was it. That was it. Which really surprised me. Oh, excuse me. And a ton of water. Like I really was downing the water and a Gatorade, a Gatorade Zero to get back. I was just so thirsty because I was so depleted. So that was it. The next day though, Bessie and I went to Disney Springs, which I was very excited for. Multiple things. Well, first we went to another broken egg for breakfast. Um, if I have the picture, I'll put it here. Um, I just had a omelet that had um, sausage, bacon, and cheese, it did come with some potatoes, which I only had a few bites of, and it came with toast, and I only had one piece, um, which is like half of a slice of bread. Um, so, and then I had coffee. Oh, coffee, I was so proud. I was like so excited for coffee um, with cream. Like it, it made my whole world. Um, but I had breakfast there, then went on to Disney Springs, at Disney Springs, um, was super grateful for that because if you guys don't know Orlando and Disney Springs, it is a massive, massive shopping center, like huge. There's a ton of shops. Um, there's a movie theater, Cirque du Soleil. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on there. So we went there and, um, uh, I was really grateful because we went um, to kind of go shopping and walk around. Um, but that was the main thing. It was like, I knew that there were a couple things I wanted to do that was like a must go. And one of those things was Gideon's Bakehouse. So Gideon's Bakehouse specifically first thing, because I wanted their coffee cake cookie, right? So funny enough, the coffee cake cookie is only offered in the morning and it's only supplies last. And it usually runs out, especially on the weekend. They run out and then there's another version at night called, it's a dark coffee cake that's made with dark chocolate. And I'm not that big of a dark chocolate fan, nor was I gonna wait till the evening to do that uh, since I was just gonna drop off the bestie and then head home um, once she gets, got on her flight. but. So we went in the morning, stood in that line, probably about like 30, 45 minutes maybe. I bought two cookies, two key lime bars, and a slice of cake. And let's be real, you guys. I tried the slice of cake. It was a PB&J cake. Literally had like three bites of it and threw it out. I, it was not good. And then when it comes to the cookies, yes, they're all here. The two cookies and the two lime bars, or key lime bars are here in my freezer. So, uh, yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't eat them. The same with fat ash cookies. I have a few fat ash cookies. And they're, they're all in here too. <laughs> like, which one's this one? This one's the brownie bonanza. Uh, I have, I don't know, four fat ash cookies. They're, so they're all in here. Right there at the bottom. Um, and yeah, they're just gonna stay frozen. Because, uh, the job's not done. 
just not done, you guys. We still have more to go. So, what do I mean? Well, let me finish up with post. So, got the cookies or whatever. Ended up not eating. Excuse me. Ended up not eating them. And then went ahead and did have a burger. Just a burger, no fries. At Deluxe. That was fantastic. Um, popped into the M&M store just because I had been to every single candy shop. And the M&M was like the only one I didn't go to. And it's also the newest. So I had to make sure I popped into that one. Took a picture with purple M&M. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Um, I love how each color has its own personality. So... That was fun. Um, hopped over to Everglaze Donuts. Now that I did actually, that donut was massive. It was a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup explosion. Definitely killed that one. Um, then we headed over to Coca-Cola. Got this thing called a Razzle Dazzle, which is pretty much like a, a lemonade with a little bit of icy on top. And it was like red, white, and blue. It was really cute. Um, and then we walked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of walking. I think we did about, I did about like 7,000 steps or something like that just that morning. Um, took the bestie to the airport. Turned out her flight got all crazy. So bestie and I came home. Um... Did grab some ice cream because it was National Ice Cream Day. So we grabbed two scoops at Ice Dream Shop. And then pretty much just hung out at home. Like didn't eat very much after that. Um, yeah. And then on Monday we were right back on the meal plan. And figuring out what we're going to do next. So... Uh, with being nationally qualified, I have a year to do that national f show. However, I think, or not I think, I know. We're doing another show, you guys. We're back at it. Um, we're doing another show because I, I want to win an overall. And I know it's not about the placing or anything, but I want to bring in... Conditioning has always been my weakness. Like, conditioning has always been my weakness in the two shows that I've done. So I want to come in tighter. I want to see how far I can push this conditioning, especially in my legs. Um, I'm pretty sure that that's what my feedback is going to be from the judges. So, but we're going to, we're going to push on. Um, Kay and I is, we're trying to decide what's the next show going to be. Um, we're looking somewhere around October, November. So, um, anywhere between 10 to 14 weeks. And then, um, see how conditioned we can get. That's going to be, I think that's going to make the biggest deal. Now we're, we're in such a great place. Um, with it being the Wednesday after show, I weighed in this morning. I, um, submitted a check-in video of my front pose and my back pose I'm sitting at 149 pounds even which is less than uh the Friday leading into peak week I weighed in 149.4 so I'm almost half a pound less than peak week starting so that is fantastic that is fantastic especially for me because to be completely honest you guys after the last show I struggled. I struggled. I, I completely became unhinged when it came to food. So the fact that I was able to enjoy myself for like a day plus and then get right back on, um, I'm very, very, very proud of how I'm handling this post show. So that being said, I don't know right now what the next show is going to be, but I know we're going for another show. And I know the goal, we're gonna have two goals. Obviously the goal is to win the overall.
But my second and biggest goal, so I guess it's really my first goal, is to bring in the most conditioned I can bring in. So in order for me to beat out this stage, like this package, I need to be more conditioned than I was at this show. That's what I want to do. That's my number one goal, is to beat out the conditioning from this show. And then number two goal is to win the overall. So that's where we're at. Once we have a day picked out and we have a countdown started, we'll be rocking and rolling. So, and I'll let you guys know. But if you guys follow me up until this point, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your encouraging words. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for everything, you guys. Um, I'm just... I'm just a normal girl trying to do big things. So... <laughs> um, but I'm beyond appreciative for the community that I'm starting to build and that's starting to surround me and pour love into me as I pour love into them. So... We're doing, we're doing things. So again, once we make up our mind on what show we're doing, I will let you guys know. All right, guys. Love you. Stay weird. And remember, you can do hard things. Bye. <laughs>